Here we go then. Here's my old school G-Shock. 520D. Stainless steel. 2004, I think I got it. Or well, around about that sort of time. It was released in 2004. I was a teenager then. Um, thought I was cool. And these were all the, the rage at the time. G-Shocks. Baby G for the women. Um, so I went out and bought this. I think I wore it a couple of times. Then just sat on the side. Then just got chucked in a drawer. Literally didn't wear it for like 15 years. And yeah, still going. I have actually changed the battery. I've changed the battery before this video. But, um, well, it's two batteries, but it's pretty easy to do. So, yeah. It still looks pretty decent, you know. But, uh, but it is very, very small compared to the newer ones. I've actually bought a newer one. It's not a stainless steel one, it's one of the polycarbonate ones. It's the um, GA2000 5590. 100 quid. I thought I'd just buy one to compare the two. But I've always liked the G-Shock. I'd rather have a Rolex, but there's a bit of a difference in cost. So uh, I'll stick with the, um, the Casio G-Shock for now. But um, I probably won't even wear it. I just thought I'd buy it because I like the look of it. Um, but yeah, don't know if you noticed, but the dial is so small. Like literally on camera, it looks bigger. But when you're wearing it, you can barely see the dial. It's quite hard to see the, the day and the seconds and the little counter thing there going around. You wouldn't really use it for the for all the um, settings, like the timer and stuff, it's just quite hard to sort of see it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool to have on the arm, I suppose. It does look pretty decent. Um, yeah, I like, I like the look of it, the colours, the, the stainless steel with the red. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's the old Casio. Literally just sat in the drawer for 15 years. Um, so yeah, I'm going to unbox a new one now and just see what that's like and just sort of have a quick compare. I'm not going to set it all up or anything. I'm just going to see size difference and whatnot. So, um, so let's have a look. So there's the box. We all have a box. Um, open it up. Got your warranty card. Stick that in the uh, filing cabinet. <clears throat> Structure manual. Put that away. And then you got a little tin in here. Of that so that's what the new ones come in um I, have, I haven't actually got the box for that i wish i did have the box but if i can remember rightly it just came in like a i don't know if you know what they look like but they're sort of clear plastic boxes with the watch sort of mounted on a plastic sort of insert thing um but yeah i wish i never threw the box away there's a couple of um, links that came with it, but anyway, so that's what the new one comes in, uh, a metal box, it's light, probably feels like it's not even in there, probably not, no my luck, but um, let's open that up, you've got your protection, packaging and then in the middle you've got the actual watch so this is literally 
the blue and gold sort of colour. So there you are. That's the new style G-Shocks. They look pretty cool, I think, to be fair. They are pretty cool watches. Um, I don't even know what it does. It's got a timer and alarm and all that malarkey. It's got a light. Um, that's pretty cool. Well, that is pretty cool. I just noticed. Have you seen that? When you push that button, the actual physical dial moves mechanical that's pretty smart but yeah it's got timer it's got alarms countdown it's got a light it's got all sorts i'm not going to go into full spec i just wanted to compare the two but that is light so light um but size wise yeah i mean they're not actually I had a feeling it was bigger. I don't know why, but it's not that much bigger. But um, it does obviously look a bit clearer to read, I'd say. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty decent. I wanted the yellow and black one, but they didn't have it. I might just buy that for the fun of it. But there you go, 2004 G-Shock. 520D and a, I don't know, 2015 probably, when they were released, probably a bit later than that, GA2000, 5590, 100 quid, I think that was about 150 when I got it back in the day, nah, that doesn't sound right, I think it was about 80 quid actually, but anyway, yeah, there you go, here's the two, but i tell you what, I do like that little touch of the old, I don't know if you can see that dial just on the left, actually moves. Pretty cool. But anyway, I'll do a more in-depth video of how it all works and what all the functions are on it, but I just wanted to compare the two. So if you like Casios, there you go. Lovely.